they will say iya teh gimana iya teh kumaha iya teh kumahanya like that so it's like no more indonesian all right so to be honest i have already um watch a lot of youtubers on youtube of course um talking about my language talking about indonesian so they think especially the foreigners um they think that indonesian is one of the easiest languages on earth because like i've mentioned before in another video that indonesian has no tenses indonesian has no conjugation verbs verb conjugations or indonesian is also kind of the same you know the way we pronounce and the way it is written so yeah if you want to know more about why Indonesian is easy you can check out my video in my list I mean in my playlist so check out again but now for today I'll be focusing more on why Indonesian now is hard to learn I have already listed five things five facts why Indonesian is very hard to learn the first one hmm Indonesian might not have tenses, but Indonesian has a lot of affixes. We have thousands of suffixes, we have thousands of uh, prefixes. So, for example, I will give you an example, the word dive. You know, it in Indonesian we say salam. Salam. Yeah, salam. So, if you are not really Indonesian, you might be confused about this, this kind of changing, um, this kind of changes of the word salam into thousand meanings. So, for example, from salam, we can we can make another form into uh, menyelam. After menyelam, menyelami. You put me and i there, me and i there, and then penyelam. That's someone who dives, or let's say the diver and penyelaman oh my god so and the last one is nyelam <laughs> what is nyelam this is very slang okay so we have selam menyelam menyelami penyelaman penyelam <sighs> the hell though so yeah even we are you know indonesians we are still confused like why it becomes like that but you know because we are we, are, we were born here so we can of course see the differences but we just don't know why like we don't really understand the rule why we have to put this ma and I to to under to to have this kind of meaning but why not another suffix or prefix yeah it's crazy man it's crazy number two the reason why Indonesian is hard in my own perspective as a native so you know, here in Indonesia, we have a lot of regional languages, not only Indonesian, but also, uh, f yeah, like Sundanese, Javanese, and Balinese, and other regional languages in other islands from Aceh to, from Sabang to Maroke. Sabang is like in the island of Sumatra, and Maroke is in the island of um, Irian or Papua. And if you go to the north, you will see Kalimantan. And if you go to the south, we have Java, we have Bali, we have, uh, I don't know, we have um, Madura, we have Bantan. Yeah, we have a lot of regional languages. And that's what makes us rich, you know, that's what makes us rich. So that's why we are famed for being uh, the country with thousand uh languages in one country so it's kind of pride though but what makes indonesian hard though to learn see you can imagine indonesian is like the united uh, language so we we connect people from different regions from sabang until maroke with only one language indonesian language but they also have their own language of course when they speak Indonesian, they also put some kind of their own local language in their own conversation, daily conversation. In linguistic, we call it code switching. So you move from one language to another while you're speaking. And it also happens here in Indonesia. Let's say, because I live in Java Island, or specifically in uh, 
you know, one of like in Sundanese kind of region. So not all people actually speak Indonesian fully. They will, they absolutely they of course put some their own regional language into their own speaking. So I will give you an example. Uh, if you want to say how does it work for example your the situation is you you buy a new let's say a new washing machine but you don't know how it works so you might ask uh, to people you can ask her you can ask like this um, how does it work or in Indonesian simply you say ini gimana ya like that ini gimana ya but if that person is let's say Sundanese then they will put like some kind of seasoning in their speaking so they will say ini teh gimana ya or I mean if you're if you're if or they can also say uh, ini teh kumaha ya <laughs> or the, the most dangerous thing thing that you will probably face in you when you're speaking to uh, Sundanese uh, I don't know Sundanese they will say iya teh gimana iya teh kumaha iya teh kumahanya like that so it's like no more Indonesian you know so you have to you have to work really hard if you want to be more natural uh, because you will find a lot of kind of you know dialects both both the the accents or also the vocabulary from here from Indonesian people